And five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kev on stage. She's that chick angel. Welcome to another podcast finger, episode. Finger, smash that like finger, button. Smash finger, that finger, notification finger, button. Finger, 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 bangers, bangers, bangers on 2022. Bangers, bangers, bangers just for you. Quick church announcement. Come on. Numero uno. Yeah. For my people like Joshy. Mm. Book tour starts this week because as you listen to this, Marriage Be Hard is out now. New yes. album out everywhere, is that wherever a t- books are sold. Is that a tan? Amazon. It's a straw. Oh, straw. Oh, I was like, Amazon, cool. Target, Barnes and Nobles. Uh, oh, like, ah. what's that? The bag's calling about the book. Oh, it's Melissa. Can you open the door? Let yes. her, let her yeah, in. Yeah, hey, Josh is coming, Liz. Josh is coming. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, wherever books are sold, you can buy it. If you are in Chicago or Atlanta, please pull up to our book tour. There are still tickets available. Uh, I believe Chicago's website was having some issues. So just pull up to the venue. There will be tickets available uh, because people were having issues. So please, please, please pull up to Chicago, Houston, Atlanta, and D.C. are already sold out. But Chicago and Houston this week only. Melissa will be in the building. Okay? Melissa will be there. Uh, Please get your book. We are desperately trying to be New York Times bestsellers. Uh, And I would love to get another book up out of the people. I call it New York Times. No, New York Best Times Sellers. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I'm going to read a passage. Ooh, a passage from the book of? From, I think I'm going to read, because the last time I did uh, too much sex, it was, yeah, the Jack and Off store was a little. Ajax was a lot at once. Ajax was a lot at once, so I don't want people to think it's all about sex. That was just something I had never shared. I saved Ooh, it just for the book. Which chapter are you in? Chapter two? I'm reading from Communication Be Hard. Communication Be Hard. Communication Be Hard. I'm going to just chapter read from two. my point of view. If you don't know, the Marriage Be Hard book is is written from my point of view and Melissa's point of view, so you get the, the knowledge and in, in elegance of Melissa and the ridiculousness of me. Angel's finished the book. I did. Herself. Before I read Angel, what were, single her out, Josh. What were your thoughts as a not a friend, just as a person? One, I thought it was a very, very easy read. Like, it's very entertaining. I caught myself laugh out loud a couple of times. I also think it was great how they you all pulled from specific examples in your own marriage of how not only how they might have handled something perfectly, but how they handle stuff when they look back at it. They're like, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Which was also eye opening was how I got Kevin in trouble. But you'll read about that at the end of the book. Oh, yeah. You didn't know. I didn't know that you got I felt so bad. But you then didn't I was realize. Like, I didn't know that you got in that much oh, trouble. Oh, I got in big trouble. I also am glad I had my friends back, Melissa. But then I also felt bad. Oh, yeah. I took a capitalized <laughs> L, bold face. I said, oh, no. Heading. But I tried to stop you in the moment, and she was the only one that could stop you for real. I don't learn yeah. until I got to learn the hard way. Oh. So please, uh, check that out um, wherever books are sold. All right, I'm going to read a little bit from the Communication Be Hard chapter. An excerpt from the Communication Excerpt. Part. I think an easy, oh, uh, we're talking about starting conversations, by the way. I think of an easy entry as the very important lubrication to the conversation. In conflict, as in sex, you don't want to just jam it in there. The emotional lube makes talking smoother and easier so the discussion glides without any rough patches. Another way to keep things silky smooth is the compliment sandwich. Start and finish with something nice. I'm a pro at this. For example, one time Melissa made chicken meatloaf. Now to set the stage, traditionally, her meatloaf is amazing. She makes it with a mix of ground beef and veal. And the end result is incredible. I mean, better than a Greasy Spoon's Diner's meatloaf. Better than your mama's meatloaf. The type of meatloaf that could beat Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay would come to town with some big city meatloaf and the local townspeople would laugh him right out of the city. It's that good. Great analogy, Kev. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so anyway, this one time when she was trying to make us eat healthier as a family, she decided to switch it up and make chicken meatloaf. What a mistake. The meatloaf was God forsaken. The meatloaf wouldn't be fed to soldiers who hadn't had a hot meal in days for fear of lowering company morale. Nobody in the family liked this meatloaf. Something had to be said. In that moment, the compliment sandwich looked like this. Babe, or I'm sorry, compliment. Babe, we truly appreciate you making dinner and going out of your way to try and make us healthier as a family. We really, really appreciate that. Criticism. However, chickens were never intended to be made into meatloaf. 
That is not what God wanted out of their lives. It's unnatural. Heaven has turned a blind eye. Compliment. Next time you can go back to the chicken. Next time, can you go back to the chicken meatloaf you perfected? We love that meatloaf. That meatloaf is amazing. Nothing is wrong with it. The spicy ketchup sauce is the creme de la creme. Thank you again, babe. It's truly appreciated. And that's just a little tid, a little tid, a little, uh, a little tidbit of the of the book. Maybe a just taste. a tip. Just the helmet. Oh, God. No shaft. Shush. Just the helmet's enough. Y'all are going to really enjoy it. Get the book. Even if you ain't married, it's going to be helpful. Even if you're not married, that's a great point. If you are single, the book is still good because the that's best I, thing you can I'm, do. I'm not because I'm, I'm not single. You're not I, single. That's why I bought married. the book, though, because even though I'm not married, you know, it's relationship based. Yes. And also, even if you didn't have a, a, a great girlfriend, which you do have, mm -hmm. the best She's thing you can do to have a healthy relationship is bring in the best part of you. Knowing the most about yourself, your childhood, your past, your money story, all of those things make you a better partner. All right? Yeah. With that, let's start the episode. Um, all right. So as we tape this, this rant was last night. Mm -hmm. I was watching UFC uh, pay-per-view fight, and Melissa was like, yo, Ray J's going off on Instagram right now on live. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we turned that on. Angel, please set the stage for the people on what happened with William Ray Nord Jr. and the Kartrashians, as he calls them. So it was a clear Saturday evening. And I was sitting in my house on the toilet perusing <laughs> the shade room because I am a follower of the room of shade. And lo and behold, I scroll up and I see Mr. Ray J, the gift that keeps on giving. Greatest gift. The show and the song that never. This is a song that never ends. Oh, Ray J. No. <laughs> he he gets us ready. He's giving us all the heat, all the funk. He's got his camera. I'm sick and tired of this. Mm. <laughs> Yo, F with the wrong man. Yes. Chris Jenner, Kim Kardashian. I'm laying out all the receipts. Cause y'all not gonna have me out here trying to stain my name. In one hour. That's all I needed. Oh, you're ready. Oh, you going to give me a time <laughs> when we going to start so that we can all collectively come together and watch this foolishness together? Oh, I'm all in. In one hour, I'm laying out all the receipts. You going to get all of it, right? All the receipts? All the receipts. I see what you did there. That's Listen, that was all night long. People were adding Ray to oh, everything. Oh, reparations. Reparations, yes. And he was like, that's the one I like. Um... So obviously, like a woman who has more things to do than not, I of course went to tune in and watched 45 minutes of exquisite entertainment. Overhead projecting. This is what reality TV, like he somehow was able to really pull reality TV to a cell phone. Absolutely. And it was all I needed. So this stemmed from two different situations. One, situ one of the situations was if you watch the Kardashian show on Hulu, there's like two whole episodes dedicated to Kanye going from New York to California to get this whole laptop from Ray J that had the alleged additional sex tape that him and Kim made. And she was only bringing it up because there was a ad on her son playing Roblox. You know, they can pop up ads on Roblox. And it was a ad of her crying saying, Kim Kardashian has another sex tape coming out, right? <laughs> And also, more recently, Chris took a lie detector test, which I haven't seen, stating that she had nothing to do with the releasing. Nothing. Of Me, Chris Jenner, a orchestrating a sex tape to to use my daughter's fame to get billions for my family. Ugh. I would never. I would never do anything like that. Not me, wholesome Chris Jenner's. So Ray J is like, I am going to show you all documentation. Of everything. Yes. So, the first big one that he pulls out of his bag will be told to you after this ad about Skillshare. <laughs> Skillshare is a sponsor of the show. <laughs> and a lot of people are taking a step back to reflect on what they want for their career. Explore all your options and set yourself up for a success with uh, Skillshare. With countless of on-demand on classes taught by experts in design, marketing, software, development, development, and more, 
You'll build the skills you need to chart a new course with confidence. Yeah. Now, while the class I took wasn't necessarily uh, something to change my career, it definitely helped give me focus in my career. I took at the top of um, of this year a class on how to make your own vision board. It was one of the best Skillshare classes I've ever taken because one time wise it was took me no time mm. i actually finished my vision board actually in, within that class oh which, really yeah most people you know you start a vision board and it be the year halfway gone and your vision is also <laughs> only halfway made it taught me so much about myself how to reflect on uh self improvement as well i cannot recommend it uh, enough. And there's so many other classes that I've taken on Skillshare. I really do enjoy the classes. Each Skillshare class is broken into bite-sized modules packed with actionable insight. Level up your productivity habits. Become a master of Excel or JavaScript. Learn to scale a business with Facebook ads and more. With new classes launched every week, Skillshare classes are curated and polished for maximum impact. In under 60 minutes, you can learn more than you, than you would in a whole weekend spent scouring YouTube. One affordable yearly membership fee unlocks an unlimited access to as many classes as you want, and you can keep learning on the go with the Skillshare app. So set sail for your new career and dreams with Skillshare. Visit Skillshare.com slash SK. SK. Today to get your first month free. That's Skillshare.com slash SK. 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 Oh, my gosh. I am hot. Okay, here we go. So this is what had happened, though. So he pulls. It takes him a while to get here. So I'm going to work in, re, in reverse. He's talking about text messages first, right? Which or DMs, which, you know, those can be really good if there's juice. And he had hit her up the when the episode aired on the Kardashians. Yep. And he was mad. And I didn't know why until he broke it down. She made a comment on the show. When she was crying, like, I don't know what sex, this sex tape is. She was like, what if I was sleeping and he stuck a dildo up my butt? I missed this part. Oh, yeah. Ray J. And I was like, oh, he was like, that is a crime. <laughs> that is literally a crime for me to do that to you. So why would you even say that I would do something like that? <laughs> He was like, I ain't never talked to y'all sleazy. I've never been disrespectful right. to y'all. Why would you say something like that that would absolutely make me look terrible? It took her a while to respond to him in the DMs, but she was just like, have you watched the episode? I didn't say anything bad about you. That was just to be dramatic and funny in the moment. And yeah, potential crime is just hilarious, It's Kim. so funny. <laughs> everybody's laughing about it now in the comments everybody's like show us the contract yeah we want to see the contract ray j talking about a lot of stuff let me tell you <laughs> this is how ray j has it up on a screen projector old school old school where you can see it bigger up against the wall not only that he has on latex gloves <laughs> Because he is doing, he said, I'm doing my NCIS, my CSI um, <laughs> forensic files because her fingerprints are on this contract. And I want them to be able to match up her fingerprints off of this contract. <sighs> he shows, and this is the part that was good. He says, Chris was very much so involved. He was like, the idea was his to sell the sex tape. Ray J? Yeah. He was like, I knew we had something that could do well. I just didn't have the infrastructure to make it happen. He said, Chris does. She has the connections. Wow. He said, so I pitched it. Basically, he pitched it to him. Chris was like, okay. They watch. She watches the sex tapes. The mama. For notes. As she, any good producer would. She says, I need you all to shoot a third sex tape for, <laughs> for backup. Just in case you'll shoot it in Santa Barbara. He was like, I'm going to tell you right now. He said she watched that sex tape and said the older ones show Kim in a better light because she has on a bra. She's, you know, it's not as raunchy. <laughs> like <laughs> what type of mama could give those type of notes about a child? There's their adult child sex tape. Listen, we need to put Chris Jenner up there with Matthew Knowles. Joe Jackson. Oh, I definitely do. Uh, uh, who's Serena and Daddy? Uh, but Prince William. Uh, King Richard. Richard. I Will said Smith. 
I said, Williams. We need to put her up there with the the visionary parents who take their, okay, yes, the rest of them took, maybe we need to put her higher. Because Serena and them, they're great tennis players. Beyonce can sing. Uh, Yes. Joe Jackson, these people had, but Kim, she said, what you going to do? You suck that peen, girl. Mm -hmm. You going to suck that peen all the way to Skims. Come on. Because she did. She her sucked kids, that peen all the way to skims. She made all of her kids wealthy, not just one. See, none of them Generational actually. Generational wealth. Listen, the only uh, Richard was able to make, he wasn't able, she made all of her kids wealthy. Even the child that don't show up because he got bad self-esteem, Robert, <laughs> he even got money. Mm-hmm. That's a different level of parenting. Joe was only able to make Michael and Janet be big. No. Jermaine? He ain't big like that. No. He's big like that? No, he ain't. Uh, the whole his... Jacksons was the group, Angel. But they fell off. This is longevity, babe. This is the long game. Wait, who were her kids? Kim, Chloe. Uh... She got six of them. They all making money. Kim, Chloe. Baby. The... Courtney. Courtney got money. Kendall, Kendall, Kylie, Kendall and Rob. Kylie, and Rob. Rob, who don't show up making money off of socks. They do. She got a couple billion. She got. Is Kim a billionaire? Absolutely. She's something. If she ain't, she's close. She's something. And what's the, and then, uh, and, and, uh, pr- uh, Richard, King Richard could only get two of his 18 kids. Yeah, well, he left the first family. Right. He, he was like, you guys don't him. got what it takes. Chris <laughs> said, new kids. Anything that come about, my coochie gonna be famous. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so, I understand it. If my child, if my sons were strippers, I would be like, y'all better be the best strippers <laughs> out here. I want them to make movies about you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, we look at the contract. Sure enough, on the deliverables, there are three tapes mentioned. It says Cabo intro, Cabo six, Santa Barbara six. He was like, y'all see it? Then he's showing he's showing handwriting. That's Kim's handwriting. Go look online for her handwriting. Her Hilarious. handwriting ain't changed. He pulled a letter from back in the past <laughs> that she wrote. It said Kimmy with little hearts on it. Man. Long letter. I was like, this man is not playing around. He's like, I, you know, they already didn't breach contracts because they already talked about the contract. I don't know if he didn't screwed up or what with that part or not, but he literally put it all. You see Vivian's address. You see his old address. He showed everything. Now, how much you think this is actually going to affect the Kardashians? Me and Melissa and Mel were having this conversation. It was a, it was a, it was a boring Saturday night. This was more entertaining than the UFC fight I was watching. Till Nate Diaz choked this guy out. I think it has literally no effect on the Kardashian. None. The Empire is, it's the evil Empire. Yeah. They are. It's already as big as gonna get. If you hate them, you already hate them. If you love them, it doesn't matter. Skims selling. Chloe's jeans selling. Whatever Courtney is trying to figure out, selling. You already got Kylie already has a billion. It's too late. Uh, Chris already has a master class on there. I'm surprised. One thing Ray J said that I thought was interesting. He said, if I leaked this sex tape, why wouldn't they have sued me? They always talk about suing people, suing this person. If you if I leaked it, why would you assume me? I never thought, I didn't know that Ray J was supposedly leaking this sex tape. I just thought the sex tape leaked. I didn't know they were blaming it on him, but it's too late. This is just probably going to be the next season of their show on Hulu by covering them. Ray J by, by covering this Ray J just gave them probably their biggest storyline for the next season. They are masters at turning salacious internet interest they're magic they're masters of illusion dollars they are masters at all publicity is good publicity whether you hate me or love me i'm gonna have these followers and this engagement i'm gonna sell my products ray j had this came out year one two three before they became the evil empire when darth vader still was unsure would have worked no now Yes. Work. No, no. I think it could have slowed them down because listen, Kim is essentially a white woman, right? She's bad. White women can ride victimhood to millions. I watched Taylor Swift's documentary the other day. We got really into music documentaries because Shania Twain was so good. Mm-hmm. Taylor, now I'm not blaming her. Kanye wild out on her. However, 
her ability to ride that victimhood, she rode that for as long as it could take, right? Or long as it would go. And then when he said, I made her famous, she got on that ride again, rode it as far as it would take her. They gonna ride victimhood they would, and that's what, dollars. That's what I'm saying. They would have just found another way to be victims. I didn't really know what I was doing. Oh my God. It was already, the, the ending would have been what it was to begin with. To begin regardless. with. Regardless. I actually don't think they're going to address it at all. Really? To add insult to injury. You think they leave this type of I mean, this is this is juicy fruit. Mm. To be fair, they don't really be addressing anything. No, they only address what they want to. That's why I don't think they will. They're writing Kanye's uh episodes. They're, it's helping in the rebrand. You saw Kim debut as Hawk Hogan. There was this girl who tweeted that uh, debuted as Hawk Hogan. You didn't see the tweets of her with blonde hair and blonde eyebrows. No, you didn't see where Kim looks like Hawk Hogan now. I'm telling you, no, because I don't. I'm about to pull it up. Look at Kim. Blonde hair. While we're stalling, side note, the reference to the Pepsi commercial in, in uh, the boys was fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it was so, so great. Good. So good. So well done. Kendall's uh terrible, terrible. I don't. She doesn't look like Hulk Hogan. Where she absolutely looks like Hulk Hogan. She literally has the same blonde that Hulk has. She says, "Brother, this don't okay. look like Hulk." Look at it. Doesn't look like she has eyebrows. Uh, she got a little albino in her. It looked. Uh, it. it looked like somebody sick who just threw on a wig. <laughs> That's why I didn't see the Hulk. There's a Twitter thread going viral. That was written in 2020 about how Kim eventually is going to use Kanye to rebrand as a white woman. I saw that. And when I tell you, she was working the prophetic. Duh. I'm telling you, Kim cutting a pro bone as Hulk Hogan. Listen, brother, what Ray J did would have never happened. And we'll see you at Kardashian mania this <laughs> summer. Brother, when I tell you that my mother didn't sign that contract, there was no contract. Listen. I, I would not be surprised if next week they're like, uh, season two on Hulu. Too late. Coming in a month. That wouldn't surprise me. There's probably I'm, a big rollout. I, uh, I really do not think they're going to address it. I don't think they're going to give it any. I don't think they're going to give Ray J any press. No reparations. I don't think he's going to get not a dang on reparation. It's just going to be him. Even though he provided Ray Seeps. He better get back to RSVP with Bobby Valentino. <laughs> And the other two niggas, the other two short men, and start getting their choreography together. Who was the together. other people? Pleasure P and mm -hmm. uh, Sammy? There you go. You that got should it. be his new one wish. Yeah. Am I right? Let me tell you what I love about Ray J. Tell that baby boy. He born. said, to my baby's born. <laughs> to my baby's born. He said, check the link in my bio for, the, for how I'm going after Kim. Link in my bio goes to what? Raycons. Yeah. He said, I got to put my Raycons on because I can't hear this. This man is a genius he, This is the business thing. man. He is the reason why Kim and them are famous. And he did he did say it. He was like, he, sex tape, playboy, show. That's how it went. Listen, Chris Kardashian, Chris Jenner, Jenner. I'm sorry. She is Bill Walsh, sports analogy. She's John Madden. She's Phil Jackson. She wrote up the plays for they played the plays. The Kardashians understand internet behavior better than anyone. Yeah. They took the butts out. They knew that BBL culture had reached its apex. They took in this Hulk Hogan thing, the butts gone. It's not remember when she had the paper magazine? Wait a minute, she ain't got no booty no more. She no, took they the got booty. The production. They took the booties down, Angel. When They're, did this happen? They were tweeting like two months ago that the BBL pandemic was over. BBLs is out. We off that now. White woman is back. Wait a minute. What you they mean? They took the butts out. They got Angel. rejection. They were black when they needed it uh, to make a billion. To make another billion. Kim has a Kim has a, a venture capital fund now. You can't have a venture capital fund with with a fat black butt. You need white butt. You need long butt. Maybe that was the ultimatum she was in. <laughs> I'm trying to see for the people. her to from the side. I'm trying to see what her butt looks like. Angel, now you can tell side. that woman ain't as, as big as she used to be. Yeah, but I need to see how far back her butt goes. No, nah, it don't go back as far as Paper Magazine. I can't find it. Chloe went back to long butt 
Taylor mm. Swift type butt. We need regular whiteness. Her skin ain't even as dark. Remember how dark her skin used to be? Yeah. She was like it. more white. This is venture capitalist Kim. See the picture. I'm looking at her, but see, she has, still has dark eyebrows from Jan- July 1st, 2022. She still got fillers in that butt. It ain't the same size. No, Angel. I didn't medium. say it ain't long, but okay. Cause I was about to say it's this less, still, but it still look fake though to me. Yeah, it's definitely fake. Let mm-hmm. me see that picture. That is not as big as it used to be. I didn't say it was as big. Oh, you, as I didn't. Yeah, it was less. Not look at Paper Magazine butt. Oh, I remember that. I okay. remember she was doing it. It was like a, a little bit of Venus hot and tight. I don't know what that reference. That's something from the theater. I finally got to do something. <laughs> She's a real person, Sarah Bar- uh, Barkman. She was in a freak show, South. Oh, Africa. the black girl. Black, yeah. Way back in the day, yeah, that they, they made fun of her, and that's what back, I didn't know. That's her, her name. In in the museum. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know. I did not know that she reduced her butt. I knew she was looking skinnier and weirder, but I didn't know that the butt, I thought she was just taking it, like making her body more proportionate. Not that. What's BBL? Brazilian butt lift? Yep. Mm. So she got a BBS, Brazilian butt sag. Huh? She you know, BB, B, Brazilian butt less. Or BBR, just reduction. BBR, much better than BBS. I thought she BBRs are back. Brazilian butt shit. And I was like, that don't make no sense. No, reversal. She hit the she hit the reverse card on she the butt. She didn't reverse hard enough. Reverse, I reverse. Want that was all the way back to whatever your original butt was supposed to be. I want her <laughs> when she worked for Paris Hilton. Go back to that look. Well, look at your mama's butt and get that one. <laughs> go or go back to MJ, her grandmama in San Diego. What her butt look like? Who's MJ? Her grandmother. I just said the whole thing. Oh, I don't know that. What's MJ? MJ? Her grandmother in San Diego. I've never heard of this person. It's her grandmother. Who I lives know that, but. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do? Why do I, I know thought her? her grandparents lived in Santa Barbara. No, her grandmother lives, I do believe, in San Diego. She a regular, she white, white woman. Let me pull her up. I thought, because that's where they did uh, Chloe's, not Chloe's, Courtney's... Proposal? Bridal photos and proposal. Is she married? Yeah, or, Travis yeah Barker. she got married. Wow. Oh, my God, this is a regular white Yeah, woman. that's what I'm saying. Check in with her butt. Not regular, bro. I mean, oh, this man. is a librarian. <laughs> Stop it. No, she is wow. a very... Wow. She's very... You would... The, she is not the woman that you would think would have great... Kristen Marie Jenner. That would have great grandchildren who were mixed. And no. almost all of, of her great-grandchildren, except for what the four that Courtney had, are mixed children. Wait, how's her last name Jenner? Wasn't... Jenner Bruce's last name? She must yes, have hired so a MJ, name specialist. Wait a minute, MJ's last name is Jenner too? That's what it says, Chris and Marie. Jenner's from Oh, Bruce. that's Chris Jenner's name. I'm so Then lost. what's Bruce's? Bruce is a Bruce Jenner. Bruce is Jenner. Chris was Kardashian. Hold on. What was previous her? marriage, Robert Kardashian. Was we need somebody name? to do this research for us. I we don't have we time could, for I this. I wish we could Mary hire Joe somebody. Campbell. I know. That's MJ. I'm like, we need to be able to hire somebody to do this research off of Indeed. Alpha Indeed. <laughs> Indeed we do. Indeed we do. Uh, what's better than following, finding quality candidates? Finding them instantly. For a powerful hiring partner, you need Indeed. Indeed is a hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire in all, all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for in, candidates with the right skills when you can just do it with Indeed. Find top Talent fast with Indeed suite of powerful tools, hiring tools that Indeed Instant Match assessment, ex- assessments in virtual interviews. Those are some of the tools you can use. Uh, hate waiting? I do. Uh, me Ugh. too. Yuck. Indeed's U.S. data shows over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. Now, see... What I love about Indeed is that I didn't have to put a bunch of like uh, fillers out in a bunch of places. I told Indeed what I wanted and they gave me multiple. I'm talking about, I know I had at least 80 before it was all said and done candidates to be my personal assistant. And they all had the type of qualities that I asked for. That is what I call making my life easier and simpler. Candidates you can, excuse me, candidates you invite to apply through instant match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in a search according to the u.s indeed data with instant match as soon as your sponsor a post you can shortlist get a short list of quality candidates whose resume on indeed match your job description and you can invite them to apply right away indeed knows 
that when you're doing everything for your company, you can't afford to overspend on hiring. Visit it. Visit Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. To start hiring now. Just go to Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Now, need Indeed. I'm not done with you guys. You ain't done, Angel? Because, listen. What? The way life be life and these prices be going up, Man. I like I be cringing at the pump, filling up my dag on truck. Me too. It be ugh. that's the downside of driving. Hey yo. Hey yo. But listen, and not only that, like the cost of the cost of food, inflation is hitting everything. Mm-hmm. And it hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> That's why I want to introduce you all to Upside. Yeah. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys ga- uh, gas, groceries, or dines out. With every purchase, you earn cash back thanks to Upside. Okay, so to get started, download the free Upside app. Use our promo code Kev on stage. Kev on stage. And get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty, pro- loyalty programs, you earn three times more cash back with Upside. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week, and that's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. So this is what I love about Upside, if you all don't really understand. Tell me, Angel. They're not asking you to buy something that you ain't already buying. No, not at all. They're like, do life the way you normally do it, but this, what you're going to do is you're going to let us know where you're spending money. And when you use our app, when you're spending that money, we're going to give you some money back. Like... I love when somebody wants to help me get some money and not ask me to do some stuff that I don't usually do. Mm -hmm. That's what Upside is saying. We're going to give you the rewards and there's no penalty. Like like with credit cards, if you don't pay that thing off on time, all type of penalties and stuff. You don't have penalties, interest, all this. They're saying, hey, babe, just use the app the way you would normally pay for things and we're going to give you some cash back. So download the free Upside app app and use promo code kev on stage kev on stage to get five dollars or more cash back on your first purchase or ten dollars or more that's five dollars or more cash back on your first purchase of excuse me of ten dollars or more Mm. not or yeah of ten dollars or more using promo code kev on stage kev Kev on on stage. stage i am sweating i really don't know what ray j hopes to get out of this I'm, I'm sure he was happy just to be, he even did this uh, dramatic moment where he was like, you know, she talk about her kids. Mm-hmm. What about my kids? My, my baby's born. My baby's been born. My baby's alive. And then he put his head down. <laughs> Man, I can't be like this. My friends is asking me what's He's going crying, on. crying, Angel. He was not crying. He was. I saw seven tears. Did it you? came out quick. It was drip, 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 <laughs> drip, 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 drip. It was the sweat. Well, first of all, why'd he put I'm in hashtag Dominican Republic? Why was it so important for him to let us know where he was? Outside! And be in the algorithm of Dominican Republic by putting the hashtag down there. He really did. I got to, you know, I'm in the Dominican Republic. He said it like, like you, y'all, y'all can't come here. Mm-hmm. What you think? This is just a regular, regular Republic? This is Dominican Republic. And you know what? I felt for him. But at the same time, I was like, well, this is what you get. Because there was a season. Where the black dudes, especially in L.A., they wanted something that looked different. They wanted something that had some black-like-ish features, but mm. surely wasn't black. Yep. And look at it. Look what you biting created. in your, just bite you in the butt. He's Dr. Frankenstein. You know, Frankenstein's not the name of the monster. Frankenstein's the name the of the doctor. That's Ray J. Stein. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a trend. That type of chick that type of look. And I'm not saying that these women are beautiful and don't have their own right to love in whatever way that it comes. Yes. But there was definitely a trend at the time. I remember men bringing women like that to our church. And I was like, so is this just what they wanted? Somebody with a butt, but they just couldn't be a black person. If they were Asian. Yes. If they An were Asian girl with a butt. Yeah. People were the Kardashians weren't the only ones already getting injections. It took a while for the rest of the country. I don't know if I've seen an Asian girl with a butt. Oh yes. Full it, on Asian. Full blown Asian, not Blasian, 
Not in, not Blazing. They were getting the booties injected. Yes. Booties in what? Injected. Oh. <laughs> they were getting them butts put in. Uh, Puerto Rican looking. Anything that did not qualify as mm. black. I need black girl cornbread, shea butter, luscious pink oil moisturizer, bonnet. Okay, I need bonnet and lingerie. That's how I like my black woman. I want black knees. I want knees blacker than the rest of your skin. I want scars. That, listen, I want spades. Let me tell you what wouldn't have happened if we, as a couple, black man, black woman, agreed to put out a sex tape. You ain't going to get all the credit is what I'm going to tell you right now. Yes, I had this idea as well. <laughs> I was so, you know, when we saw it leak, we were like, well, we could probably get some money off of this. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the people at Vivid. Mm -hmm. He agreed. Vivid yes. right over there after one on one. Yeah, we're not about to play the victim about it. We're going to play the champion. That's right. And now look at me. I got my own lace front company because they ain't going to give us our own show. Not show late. Vivid. But we're going to have lace runs at least. All right, moving on. Enough of them. Enough of them. Enough of them. Uh, the Little Mermaid trailer was released. <gasps> Holly Bailey as Ariel. Racist, you can eat a fat peen. Mm. Mermaids are not real, so therefore they can be black. Uh, she kept the locks. She kept the voice. I love her voice. I think it's perfect for the... Uh, she has a very, Wish I could be part of that world. She has a she very a couple clean runs on that too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah she but is. she has the light airy mm -hmm. uh, ability, which Ariel was more mostly airy. That's why I named Ariel. No, because it was an Ariel uh, type voice. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's why I read in. She, I read from your boy Alan Minken. Alan Minken is the oh, the guy who wrote all the Disney hits. You know, he like pre Lin Manuel. He wrote uh, all the Lion King, all the. Was he part he of the, like the the theft of Lion King and everything? No, no, no. He just wrote the he just wrote the bops. Oh, okay. Alan Menken, man, he wrote them hits. Mm. I will say this: she has a um, like a very crystal clear voice. That yeah. Is just crystal so clear good. Pepsi. Yeah. Clearly Canadian. Mm hmm. Come on. Oh, that's all you got. Sprite? I couldn't think of no more. God dang. Um, <laughs> she has a beautiful crystal clear voice, but there was an interview that I got to watch. Of um, what is it? Uh, it was on Watch What Happens Next with uh, Melissa McCarthy, and she was talking about them hearing it for the first time. Yeah, and how her and seven other adults burst into tears. Tears? Yes. I want to. I want to play you the clip. She was like. I don't think we realized what was really happening until it happened. Mm. Uh, I'm really excited not only to see um, uh, what's her face, what's this baby's name, Holly Holly. What is Halle. it for once? Once in the <laughs> how is it pronounced? For once and Bailey for baby. all, Bailey is baby. it Holly like Holly Berry or is it Haley? Just tell us now. We need a. Is there Let's a see. video of her that pronouncing her own me. name? Holly. Ha Hey, Holly. see somebody said Haley. See, don't, y'all don't know. Holly nope. Berry. I'm looking on. I'm looking on Google, and it says Ha Dash Lee Bay Dash Lee. So Holly like Holly Berry. So Holly, like, dang the whole black folks don't care what you, Holly. girl. You know who we talking about? Uh, who's Jackie? There you go. Who is it? Uh, I was trying to find the clip where she talks about it. Um, now is she playing Ursula? Yes, she's playing Ursula, and it still hurts me that who is Melissa McCarthy? Oh, I wanted Lizzo to get that role. She's too young. Why? Who said just because Ursula like a black auntie? Ursula definitely no, but seemed you need like a mature. solid role too, though. Nah, man, Lizzo can do it. It was her what? dream. Stop, y'all be trying to put Lizzo in every goddamn. What else thing. have I ever tried to put Lizzo in besides no, there Ursula? Was somebody wanted Lizzo to play something else, some other big character. No, Lizzo audition. I ain't trying to put no, her in. No, there was another time we talked about it on this podcast, and they were like, Lizzo would be great for it. I didn't say that. And I'm you just were saying, like, I could see it. I don't. As Ursula? No. Because Ursula had that. I don't know what the another, other thing. I know you don't remember, but I don't remember, about Angel. But Lizzo, Lizzo is too young. Why, why Ursula got to be old? How old was Ursula? About 48? They said the the muses from Hercules. She could do the muses from Hercules, but it was something else though. Um, 
definitely Ursula as now it's got to be a diverse cast, y'all. We everybody ain't well, gonna be black. Well, they already gave us Ariel. We, yeah, listen, everybody they, ain't gonna be black. If they, they they go two blacks, then they ain't movie yeah, ain't gonna come out. There's a boycott. Yeah, giving Ariel to a black girl that's pretty that's much win. made sure you weren't gonna get a black person as Ursula. That's what they said when Will Smith said he didn't do the Matrix. Val Kilmer was gonna be uh, uh Val Kilmer would have been not Neo Morpheus. Morpheus. They wasn't gonna have a bl two blacks. What is this? Boys in the hood? No, <laughs> this is you gotta be kidding. You, you get two blacks. It's a black movie. Okay, I found it. Bailey's version of Ariel in The Little Mermaid, and are there any new songs in this live action version? First, I'll say I'll be killed for anything I say. Right. Secondly, uh, we were on set and they just started playing Hallie's version. Of the song, don't cry. Don't do not cry right now. Um, I cry. had a real, I had a truly, really, not weird reaction, just overwhelming. It's so. Beautiful, and it's from such a pla like. It's just different. It's she's she's that girl has got roots down, and like she sings from her heart. And when I heard it, there were like seven of us that just burst out crying because wow. we had not heard it. It's really, she's a remarkable young woman. Um, in every moment, every how how she is on set, how she is as a person, and I burst out crying. And then now I realize I was like. Now she just she's thinking there's a really old woman in front of me crying, <laughs> and this is weird. But I like couldn't get it together. But like, and may there's lot all of your familiars are there. Maybe there's a new friend. I can't say. Right. I don't want a mouse to kill me. Right. <laughs> but um, it's it's. I'm, I'm so Listen, the key is who's playing Sebastian. Okay, I feel like I don't know who's playing it, but I want Drake would have been a good choice. His Jamaican accent is great. Chet Hanks. I hate you. Could have been fat. Chet Hanks Patois is top tier. Wagwan me Ute. That's what he said when he started. Uh, anybody from Top Boy or me. It, I I don't get enough respect for my Jamaican accents or my accent work overall. Hold I don't, on. You okay. don't want respect. Some people say, you know, they can't believe. Jamaica, we have a Bob Why do you we just have... get louder with your accent? That's how you can hear it better. We got <laughs> that one day. Oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> when they get the biscuit on the bar, baby. That's my British accent. First of all, I was doing my Jamaican accent. I know. Accent. But Barbie is not British. I know. Shrimp on the Barbie is Aussie. Oi. Oi. Aussie. It was, it was old girl Lizzo in the bodyguard. You don't remember this conversation? Yes. And y'all were like, yeah, she can play. I, I was like, Because she no. can sing. No. You no. said it should be Ariana Grande as the bodyguard. Yeah, I think she would be a great option. No, I don't want to see nobody saving her. It she, need to be a black girl. It need to be Moon Along. Who the who? Moon Along. Who the Moon Along? Yours, mine, ours? Is that, oh, how, is that how you name? say her name? Money? Mooney? Oh. Money Long? I don't know how to pronounce I never said it out loud before I never this moment, actually. Uh, but I don't think she's actually big enough. Who black as big as Whitney right now? Nobody. Biggest Beyonce? Whitney? Beyonce? Nah, she too old though. The bodyguard was like 28 at the but time. But in my head, she was that age. She was Beyonce's age? Yes. Whitney Houston will forever be a mature older woman. She was 33 to me. from birth. Yes. Hot, <laughs> cool 33. Ain't no, there ain't no other version. Even of, when she was doing I Wanna Dance with Somebody. She was 40. She had to pick her kids up from high school after that. Yeah, absolutely. Not and, Jennifer Hudson. For the bodyguard? I don't No, she already has a she already has an ego. Why do people want to do that? <laughs> she already got the EGOT. Mm -hmm. And she got a, a talk show coming out. This, and that is a great transition for her. <laughs> from, from acting? Yes. <laughs> it, I don't want to see it no more. Oh, Beyonce can't act either. I give you that. I'm Ooh, not saying. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> And that woman, that, this just proved that God gives you a lot of stuff, but he won't give you everything. Except for Jamie Foxx. I don't know what Jamie Foxx don't do well, because he do a lot of things well. He probably not tall or something. I don't know. God won't give it all to you. Yeah. No. Beyonce, that's, it's not her. It's, I think if they gave her smaller roles, it wouldn't be as bad. They'd be I mean, giving her so much. This is how small the role need to be. Was that Beyonce? Yep. <laughs> and move along. Oh, no. Listen. No. Joshua Angel. No, no. It's background one. <laughs> Was that Beyonce's back of her head? That was. No! 
<laughs> Except in, in, in singing as Etta James, she did everything that needs to be done. I think if they let her play a hood rat, but like in a small, like I think she could do P Valley. No way. You know what Beyonce does? That? She does on great a- acting in her music videos, though. Yeah, I think she could do P Valley. Because it'd be too music. I think she could be like, y'all gonna let me get on that pole today. Ah! And then flop, flop, no, flop. She's gonna be leave. sound like she sounded obsessed. <laughs> Come on, get, get on that pole with me. You wanna get up? I was like, yeah, kill her. I've perfect. never rooted for a white woman against a black woman. <laughs> I wanted Ollie Larder to push her off of that upstairs thing and have seven children with Idris Elba if Beyonce would <laughs> no. not talk. I would love her in P-Valley or Game of Thrones. Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> She'll be the voice House, of the dragon. She's going to be the house of Darion. Yes! She's going to be like... <laughs> oh, my... Uh, Dra- Dracarys. As <laughs> soon as I see her, it's Dracarys, Dracarys. Jakar's J- Jakar. No, she gets to say it. No. Jakar. Oh my the dragons will not know. That's like that's not but <laughs> Jakar. Dragons. Oh the would, information. And then she gonna say a Jakar is. Oh, I would rather have Joffrey alive for every episode <laughs> than to have Beyonce. Jakari's her. Jakari's Drakari, her. No. Hey, she hey. Do it. Rhaenyra, say Jakari's on her. <laughs> Damon, Damon. Get a Caraxes, Jakaris, Jakaris. She's gonna be like, I'm. I gotta go talk to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know they gonna marry off. Somebody. Beyonce in the High Council. Yeah. Hey, I don't think that we should have a king. I would love it. Jakaris, Jakaris, <laughs> little finger, Arya, faceless men, somebody. That or C. I don't want her to do nothing. Why but can't she sing. be in C? She's gonna be like, we is blind, y'all. We is blind. No. Jakari's. I want a dragon from Game of Thrones to come in to see. She could be like this. <laughs> Y'all, come here. Jakari's. Jakari's. She can't Jakari's. Yes, she see. can. I want, a cro- I want a crossover event. Baba Voss. Baba Voss. What, what's going on over there, Baba Voss? Get her out of my show. Stop it. Stop it. Get her out of my shows. I don't want her. <laughs> she, I want her and see. Baba Voss. <laughs> Bobble. I don't Did stand you? with Bobble Voss. Dracarys. Caraxes. <laughs> sea smoke. Sea smoke. No. <laughs> you better keep no. her far away from rest from Westeros. I want her in these. I, I want just a small road, though. It's too mm-hmm. much. Too much pressure to give her too many things. <laughs> Get on over here. Uh, you could be my <laughs> king any day. I'll never bend the knee. Burn her. No. Burn her. Have y'all watched Severed? Severed? Yes. Severed. Severed. Severance. Severance. It's called Severance. Severed. The Severance Angel. Oh, Severance. They it's work on the severed floor. Yeah, Severance. I don't even want her in that. Oh, she'd be. I great want her to forget her oh, talking. Oh no, because she would do two different accents though. Up top, she'd be like, "I'm about to go to work. <laughs> I'll see y'all later." Jacar- put a dragon she'd in, the, off, in the elevator. She'd be like, "I'm at work." <laughs> <laughs> I want a witch finder. I want all of that. Kill her in the elevator. No. Get a bur- burn her. No, I want her in something, but it's a smaller role. I think when they give her too much, she got too much on her plate. She do. Severance is good because they don't be talking that much. Severance is amazing. Severance and is a great show. We cannot wait until it comes back. I'm like, I don't know what they're going to do with season two. I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. And I, that dude, I don't even be loving him like that, but I love him in Severance. And he's good in Loot, too. He don't do that many uh, episodes in Loot, but he's good in Loot. Loot, L O O T. It's with Maya Rudolph. And, uh, oh, is that the show where she's rich? Yes, she's basically Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. It. It's based off of that. And Adam then, Scott. Thank y'all. That's his name. Uh, so good. He's so good in that. He's good in loot. It's we're, we're here for it. I want all of it. What I also want is for you to get Ship Station. Ship Station. Dracarys. As I was saying, what I also want you to do is to get Ship Station. The best time to prepare for growth is before the opportunity arises, especially for online businesses. ShipStation sets you up for growth by directly integrating every shopping cart and storefront. So your products are easy to find, easier to manage, and easier to get into the hands of happy customers. You don't have to wait until you're drowning drowning in offers to find the right shipping solution. Upgrade to ShipStation today. Listen, y'all, if y'all are in e-commerce, the holidays are here. If they're oh, not in a couple months, Black it is Friday right is now. tomorrow. Yeah, it's right now. So to think that you're going to wait and getting your inventory together to getting your sales together, you are setting yourself up 
for failure. ShipStation wants you to succeed, and we here, and here's the thing, wants you to succeed as well because ShipStation automatic, uh, automates so many tasks. It, like they said, it helps consolidate all of your things into one uh, interface. And three, you get the type of discounts that are usually only offered to Fortune 500 companies. These are the shipping rates that I'm talking about. So, uh, no more limiting your business to one store. ShipStation integrates with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, etc., making it easy to manage all of your shipping from one simple dashboard. Dashboard minis- minimize, excuse me, not minimize, maximize your sales with minimal effort. Save time with consolidated order management and automate shipping updates for your customers. Easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times to get the most out of every send. <laughs> Get the same discounted shipping rates as Fortune 500 companies, whether you're sending a stack or a truck load, truck full. Join over 130,000 companies who have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. 98% of companies that use ShipStation for one year become customers for life. Uh, Listen, Kevin is putting out merchandise. New merch alert. Support him over God did support him. Support him. Okay. So uh support these other businesses like Latch Mama in Passion Planner in Wolfgang Puck Home. Come on, get in all of them. So ship more, grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation today and sign up for the promo code Crew with a K. Crew with a K for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top, and type in code CREW with a K. CREW with a K. Uh, David Diggs is playing Sebastian. Who's that? David Diggs play uh, Jefferson and your boy in Hamilton. Uh, the one with the curly hair? Lafayette. Good, 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 good. Yeah, with curly hair. Okay. Lafayette. He married to uh, that black girl. Good for him. They have a good. They have a good architectural digest uh, episode. What's happening? <laughs> I'm having to wipe the sweat from underneath my titties. It's so hot. I didn't know. We got. We got to mark this as sensitive content now, Angel. <laughs> but I left them inside the, the dress. Y'all don't understand how hot you're, it is. You're, <laughs> they so don't turn the AC room. on on this office on Can Sundays. Can you call them and be like, yo, for Duh. six hours, just leave it on in this one room. They they don't turn it on on, it on so Sundays. Hot. I totally it's forgot. Hot. And in Los Angeles right now is climate change. So and I, not only that, like, <laughs> oh, my God, I've been, this is my third podcast of the day. Angel it's done. Alyssa got to do three today, too. Yes. No, dear. two. Two. She has the worst. She had to do one, take one off, then do one. Let me tell you. She got to go outside where it's cooler. I had to sweat it through these draws. It's just all terrible. Let me tell you what the worst is, sweat. Sweat at the top, start at the, at the top of your neck. Oh, you feel all the way it back. It goes like a, like a plinko chick <laughs> down to the middle of your butt. It's like a pinball. Like a pinball down your butt. Mm-hmm. I was walking through the mall in a dress that had sleeves, so that's enough. It's, it's you already trapping in too much heat. As I was finally leaving the mall, a drip of sweat went down my leg to my ankle and the, the dress was short so it looked as if i was just a pin on myself i said ain't nothing I'm, I'm not about to wipe this y'all just if y'all looking that hard you're gonna see i'm so hot all right moving on this is just really interesting to me reverse bobby caldwell this song is a black person and i did not know before twitter told me today Day after day, I'm more confused. He's a black person. Did you put the? You're blowing hot coochie air towards me. I'm feeling strange. Ain't it a shame? Wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away? Can't be fun. Free my soul. Wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away? Dobie Gray wrote that song. Now, in our defense. Oh, he wrote it. Did he no, no, he's it? performing it. Oh! That song has had to be remixed and uh, covered. 
by other people because <laughs> I know I've heard uh hold on, there gotta be a white dude who did that. Yeah. Uncle Cracker. Oh well. Nope. With a K? Who that oh, who who no. Uncle Cracker? <laughs> he said I ain't gonna hide it. Hold on. That can't be the no the the drift away I know. That has to be somebody else. Oh, no. I don't wanna get lost in rockin' That's mostly I it's mostly Dolby Gray. Then drift away. Why they never show us? I don't know. This Bobby Caldwell all over again. Now that's country twang. Give the Dewey Brothers, is that who did it? Big Dubes. <laughs> this is who I My shirt's hot. Give me the beat boys. I do not look forward to menopause. This is the this is the one that I've heard. Boy, I thought they were saying "Give me the people" this whole time. It's not the Beat Boys. It's definitely the Beat Boys. I got it right. Give me the Beat Boys and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. We're not gonna make this a music episode, but this just remind me. Michael McDonald, <laughs> what a fool believes, he did not have to go this hard. There's this Michael McDonald. Black folks love Michael McDonald. Yeah, we do. There's a lot of words to this song. Listen, Michael McDonald was going, he was going so in on it. She came from something. There's a lot of lyrics. I'm going to just let him go. No, sing him. You don't got another words. Sing, Kevin. Create it. He didn't care if we knew what he was saying. <laughs> There's so many words in this. Well, we don't. He's also not singing any consonants. She had a place in his life. They were on them good drugs back then, oh, man. Oh man! Oh my yeah. God! He you know that joke the kids was like. Never made her think yeah, the same song. This our friend Window. This is how he describes the song. As he rises to her apology, <laughs> that's the only part he knew. I was like, I didn't know those were words. Come on. What a fool believe. Come on, come on, come on, get it. Get up there, Kevin. The wise man. No, sing them notes. The sing I don't it. really know what he said. It don't matter. <laughs> that's how you sing it. That's how I sing it. They were it. on good dope. I never know the words to the song. Good dope. Is Mel here yet? Believe. Mel's here? Yeah. All right, this is the last thing I want to say. We love y'all. <laughs> That's the last thing. It's, it's hot. So hot. It's hot. We need We've to done leave. enough. I'd... I got to take these draws are done. My knees are weak. <laughs> these the draws whole... been through a I'm lot. Take these titties off and set them down in the refrigerator. <laughs> I just... Have we gone 10 minutes past the last ad? Uh, about... I because we I had a we had an issue with the last ad the, with the microphone that was messing mess up our tight hour. It's close. Top <laughs> top sing that song one more time and then call it. <laughs> I never knew the words. What a fool believes. I had no idea that was the name of the song. Fool believes. Yeah. It's me. It sounded like he was going. Fanny <laughs> Page P to release. <laughs> He wasn't singing no consonants, first of all. So he how? Wasn't. That he had so many words. Anybody? All right, we just gonna play one. Uh, what? White song and take us out. What white song? It better be good. I don't know how good it's gonna be. Yeah, man, what song? I'm gonna play it for now you. I'm gonna see if you like it. Order marriage be hard and come yeah. see Melissa and Kevin on their book tour. Oh, that's the one. This is big psychedelics. This is one of the crossovers for uh, TikTok. It did. For the, the masses. kids that never heard of this before then. You know what they... 
No, the song that my son learned from TikTok was uh the one with the the white. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Yes. They call it Rick Rolling people. I said, get it, get it, Josh. <laughs> Josh got a solid two step. Oh, oh man. Solid two step. Because he has a couple bops in between. Anita Baker just retweeted me. You tell her to unblock Tony? She unblocked him. I'm not gonna be happy for you. I've this is our last song. Words. I just want to make sure that we go up. I think, I think we got it. Audio boom! Don't say nothing. We'll see y'all next. In honor of Auntie Anita, retweeting me, showing love. I know, definitely never, never know what she's saying. Apple pie, apple pie, apple pie. Make sure to pull up hey. on us in Chicago, Houston, uh, where you still can get tickets. Check out Gin and Juice, a brand new podcast on my Melissa's YouTube page with her sister, Melanie, Who's her that? baby sister. Uh, very funny. You guys get to see Melissa as funny as she is all the other times in her life. Uh, she was going off on about adulthood. It was a good time. So check that out. So it airs good. weekly. Download that wherever podcasts are found. And with that being said, we love you. We'll see you next week. Bye, Peace. guys. Goodbye. We love you. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. With my boy Kevin stays, and that chick angel.